get on over to numberrock.com for some very not boring teaching materials. And add free videos! Numberrock.com <laughs> If you split the number one into ten parts, that's where the decimal place value start. The values are the one, they're quite small, like 0 0.1, which is a decimal, y'all. This number as a fraction is one over ten, and 0 0.1 is its decimal equivalent. Fractions over ten, one hundred, one thousand, and none. Or are decimal numbers, it's a phenomenon. Decimals are fractions, just with different names. They each have a value that's exactly the same. Place value chart, you'll see a pattern starts If you split one tenth into ten equal parts This new value is one hundredth and in every case One hundred hundredths equals one whole in the one's place When any denominator is a power of ten That fraction can be written as its decimal equivalent The tenths, the hundredths, the thousandth, and more. Let's imagine a number line to further explore. You see, there's a special land between zero and one where you'll find decimal numbers in every fraction. Between zero and one, make ten intervals. These are tenths written as fractions of decimals. When counting by tenths, after you get to nine, the tenth tenth makes one hole on the number line. Let's see what happens as the place value decreases. And one tenth is divided into ten equal pieces. We get a hundredth written as point zero one. And ten of these make a tenth, but we're not done. Every ten hundredths makes another tenth on the chart then something special happens at the 99 equal part because the 99 hundredths were 100th away from one hole or 100 hundredths you could say Come on over to numberrock.com.